Hey guys, welcome back to week five science videos um, of cycle one. We continue our study of biology. Biology is the study of living things and their vital, um, vital processes. Sorry, <laughs> uh, it's been a long day of video making. Okay, so um, the simple definition is biology is the study of life in living organisms. Um, so you wanna review that definition Review your scientific method, which is your purpose, your background research, your hypothesis, your procedure, analysis of your results, and then your conclusion. Today, we continue our discussion on pollution. As we discussed last week, pollution is the introduction of a substance or thing that is harmful to the environment, um, harmful or poisonous to the environment. A pollutant is the actual thing or substance being introduced that causes harm. Um, you can review the different types of pollution we talked about last week, um, the harm that we know happens, and hopefully have some um, cleanup um, things to share that the kids did with their families last week, or maybe what their plans could be this week or for the future. All right, so this week we continue that study of pollution and specifically how it affects some animals. Um, so the first experiment, oily feathers, is discussing the purpose of this experiment is to understand better how birds who float, water birds, birds who float on water, can be affected by large quantities of soap pollution. Um, so this happens. Our ingredients, our materials, our vegetable oil. Um, all my tutors will have your measuring cups. You can measure the book, says you know about a cup and a half of water, but really a couple cups is fine. Doesn't make a huge difference. And then you'll have measured out two teaspoons of powdered dishwasher soap. I did try it with liquid for those who are curious. And it kind of has the same effect, but the powder does work a little better. Okay, so. You fill your two cups of water. You get your tablespoon of oil, or teaspoon, excuse me, teaspoon of oil. And then basically you just want to, first of all, this is a tutor demonstration. You wanna observe the oil. So what is the oil doing? The oil is number one, floating. And number two, it's combined in these big solid globules, not solid, but um, I guess secure globules of oil. Um, this mimics the way oil coats the feathers of a bird. And so God created these birds to produce naturally their own oils that cover their feathers, that helps them be able to float. Now, why does the oil float? Well, we know or may not know, but are learning that oil is less dense than water. So oil will naturally float when it's combined with water. Um, so God created water birds to have an oil coating so that they would float. So when soap is introduced, what do you think will happen? Um, get the hypotheses from your students and then let's demonstrate or kind of see. So you do two teaspoons of this powdered soap on there and stir gently. You don't want to stir so hard that you create bubbles. You just really want to kind of get it mixed up a little bit. And so what are the hypotheses of soap to um, as a pollutant to the water? Do you think it'll affect the oil coating birds feathers or do you think it wouldn't do anything and it's just there um kind of like the pollution we saw last week in the water well let's observe what happened so now you can see the oil is now broken up into many um small oil bubbles um some of the oil actually sunk it's kind of hard to see in the cloudy water but some of the globules actually sunk and the rest of them spread out into this unstable, small oily bubble thing on top. So how do you think um, 
Well, first of all, there's two questions you could ask from this. One, how did that happen? What, does, what was the effect of the soap on the oil? Um, and two, how do you think if this happened, if the, the oil coating on the feathers had this happen to it, how would that uh, um, trigger or affect its um, effectiveness um, in, on a bird? And so, number one, how it happens is the soap comes in. Soap actually has a pretty complex chemical makeup. And when it's exposed to oil and water, um, it separates. Part of it polarizes and joins with the oil, and part of it polarizes and joins with the water. And so as the soap comes and breaks up this big oil bond, it separates into all these little bonded um, molecules, then it makes it less stable and, and creates it to be more dense. So some of those molecules sink down into the water solution um, and those that are still floating are no longer that nice solid bond that they were initially. Um, and then you can discuss how that can affect a bird. So when soap is a pollutant in really large quantities, um, then it can certainly um, cause the birds to not float as well and in severe cases, certainly could cause them to sink once they landed on the water thinking that they would float like normal. Um, this coating distri distributes and um, affects the, um, the solidity of their oil and they could sink or just not be as effective on the water. So definitely soap as a pollutant has powerful effects. We think, ah, soap's pretty safe, it's all good but it actually can have some devastating effects on birds. The next one we wanna look at is a very simple um, experiment, but has very profound um, true effects in our world. And so the first one's a tutor demonstration. The second one, this tangled experiment, um, every student will have their own little rubber band. And the purpose of this is to um, demonstrator to understand how rubber or plastic pollutants can affect animals, whether in the water and on land. Um, this would be, I'll show you a great picture here in a minute to demonstrate this. And so you want to ask kids, you know, what are some examples, number one, of rubber or plastic pollutants? Can you think of some examples? Um, of course, there's all kinds of plastic out there. Um, but bags that are floating, Ziploc bags that get out of trash, um, the plastic rings that hold soda cans um, or other cans, the, those, can, um, those are often pollutants found around. Um, so there's various kinds of plastic and rubber pollutants that affect the animals around them. Some animals see the bags and things floating in water and think they're food and then they um, get strangled and gagged. Others get them stuck on them, which is what we're gonna demonstrate with this. And so talk about that, give that little background, and then hypothesize, what do you think would happen if something like this got around an animal's neck? How about a seal in the ocean? Or how about a sea turtle? Or how about a regular bird or um, a land animal? Um, if something, they went investigating it, thinking it was food or um, it was hooked on something, how would that affect that animal? And is it easy for them to get off? So what you're going to do, the procedure, you're going to give everybody the thing, tell them to hook their thumb, and then behind their hand, hook their pinky finger. All right, then you're going to say, all right, everybody now has a pollutant. You are mimicking what would happen to an animal. Now I want you to get that off so now you can survive and live a long, happy life without using anything else. You cannot use your mouth. You cannot use your other hand. Um, and it's actually very difficult to do um, and pretty impossible from my standpoint. Um, even just to roll it off your thumb. Now the little kiddos might have an easier time at it than the bigger kiddos or people like myself. Um, and so, but you get the idea. I can't actually, oh, there we go, got it off. 
So um, that is an example. If you have pictures, this is what we're talking about. So this is a picture of a bird stuck in plastic pollution. And so you could show, I'll have this book there. You could show them this picture or show them other pictures you come up with. And again, it talk about how is that, you know, us just being lazy and not making sure our trash gets in trash bags and trash cans, um, how that can actually affect living beings around us in our world. Um, and then conclude, again, if they didn't get to do their pollution experiment or clean up last week with their family, they can do it this week and present on it next week and um, do our part to clean up our world. Thanks.